What is up, guys? It's time for another review, or, you know, just a continuation of the review that I did on Shippuden, because I couldn't finish it, and I had to take a crap really bad. Stuff like that. Didn't really go the way I wanted it to, but, you know, what can you do? Alright, we left off where Sasuke was fighting Donzo. Donzo pulls out all the Sharingans in his arm, you're like, okay, dope. And then they introduce the Izanagi, and you're like, huh? Like, what, what is that? Some kind of like insta teleport thing, or not teleport thing. It's like this like redo jutsu, and it's really stupid. Kind of low key think it's like too overpowered. Like you just should not put that in the series, but you know they did. And then uh, let me see, Donzo does the suicide bomb thing. He just does this weird like he has this like weird curse jutsu that like makes him just blow up. I think after he loses. Oh, and then freaking Sasuke pulls a dirty move on Karin and just stabs right through her. I'm like, whoo! Shoot! How did they see me? Okay, whatever. I'll just move on. Yeah, that was that was pretty rough. I did not think Sasuke was. I mean, Sasuke's you know he's all emo. He, oh, he's dark or something like that. You know, I I was kind of like, oh okay. It's kind of like, oh. You, but I didn't really think that Sasuke was going to pull something like that. Because it's, it's a member of his team. You're not just going to, you know, do that. Come on, bro. Yeah, let me see. After that is going to be... It's just kind of like... Or I guess I kind of forgot to talk about the whole Sakura thing. Because Sakura comes by with, like, a couple random team members. Like, Rock Lee, I think. Kiba and, and uh, somebody else. Or, like, Chino, maybe. I don't know. I forget who she brings with her, but... That she's just like, yeah, Naruto, you're the one I love or whatever. You know, forget Sasuke. He's freaking, you know, he's stupid. I'm like, D just stop the cap. Like, even Naruto called bullcrap on that. He's like, yeah, I hate when people lie to themselves. I'm like, woo. Sheesh. Man, I haven't done Predator in a while. I don't know how that do go. Yeah, uh, that was kind of whack too, but uh, that because technically the war arc hasn't started yet, I would have to say, because you know he just kind of declared war on him. Obito came in on the Five Kage Summit, because this is kind of going on the Five Kage Summit, and then Obito shows up, and he's like, uh, well he talks to Naruto a little bit. He was kind of he's in the wood jutsu, because Captain Yamato is there to protect him. And uh, he tells him about like how the Senju and the sh and the was and the Uchiha clan are like fated to fight like every generation or something like that. Kind of like how Hashirama and Madara did the same thing back in the day. Kind of like starts the cycle. They started the cycle and now it just keeps continuing stuff like that. Now the Uchiha gang is kind of like the kind of like the gang of hate or something. I don't know stuff like that. But. See, I mean, I don't. I mean, the the Donzo fight was not exactly my favorite. It was kind of like you know, it was a good fight, but I've, I was kind of hoping uh, Sasuke was gonna fight somebody else, but you know, he didn't. So, wow. And then uh, after that would be. What, yeah, I think there's Naruto just kind of goes back and they start preparing for war. That's that's pretty much it. Let me look at the list real quick just in case. Yeah, so the, the it kind of starts off like well, I guess I'll just start off on the war arc now. The the war arc kind of starts off with oh yeah, so Gara so they they split up into like groups like each team uh, has like a like a captain or whatever. They split up into squads. Stuff like that. And then, uh, what is it? Gara does a big speech trying to get all the shinobi to, you know, work together. Because, you know, all the all the clans or all the villages have their beef. Because stuff's happened back in the day. Why is my cape doing that thing? What is this? Okay. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I kind of like that scene. Uh, the first, I guess I'm just going to split the war, right, I guess there is technically parts of the arc, so I guess the first part's called Confrontation. Oh yeah, I forgot about this stuff. Alright, yeah, and then, uh, I think after that, there's like a little, um, Kabuto is, is kind of taken over for Orochimaru, because I forgot that, to talk about how Sasuke, uh, 
basically just murdered Orochimaru while he was sick and just about a you know he's trying to find a body. Uh, but I think uh, so. Kind of like Kabuto kind of took over, like being Orochimaru technically. Like he's doing, he's doing like sage jutsu and stuff. He learned the. He, I think he completely learned the snake jutsu, whatever it's called. And uh, let me see. After that would be kind of more like he brings out all the reanimated shinobi like we got basically like hook like all of the all of the kage like past kage we got a whole bunch of like famous or not famous shinobi but you know well-known shinobi from like each village stuff like that like he kind of pulls out all of the cards right and we're like shoosh so it gets super hype he also has a bunch of uh zetsu clones too and then I think after that would be. Oh yeah, I forgot I can't put it in that. Put it in that far. Sheesh. Dude, this thing is sensitive as hell. All right, well. You know he do they uh they do that and then I think there's kind of like a part where the like each team splits up and they go on different fronts. I remember that. I, th I think there was like the big battle with uh, the first battle I remember was Saucery and uh, Datara, because so because you could see Saucery in his in his uh, original form, like because uh, was it he his body is technically or his like real body is technically a puppet, so that's why he still looks like young or whatever. I remember that. Uh, I think they yeah they're both reanimated. And then Datara, uh, and then I think they're fighting Conqueror. I think Conqueror's group. There's a couple other dudes. Oh, there's also Psy, but I don't really give a crap about Psy, let's be honest. Uh, and then uh, Dai, or not Dai, but you know, Psy's like, like adopted brother or whatever. They, uh, let me see, they find him. And then apparently they reanimated him too, so Psy's being all broken up. Oh, it's my freaking brother, now you're reanimated. And I was just like, I don't really care. But they kind of have that whole like battle, uh, like different fronts, and then they have uh, uh, what's that? The, the dude from the the cloud, the village hidden in the clouds. He has like the black lightning. He's pretty cool. Uh, I forgot his name, but you know that dude. He's fighting on that front, and then we have like Naruto. Naruto's still training. Naruto's training with. This is when Naruto's training with Killer B on that Turtle Island thingy. That's what I remember. And then Naruto figures out how to use, um, kind of like, he basically took uh, Ninetales Chakra from him. And then he can use it for himself. But, you know, Yamato's like, be careful, don't take too, like, if you if you use too much, like, too for, uh, for too long, I think, like, Kurama can basically just kill you by taking all your, like, all your Chakra and his back. So then you'll die of Chakra Exhaustion. Yeah, all the all the all the fronts. I mean, there there were some. They brought back some characters that I was kind of like. They brought back the Sound Ninja Four. I thought I thought that was kind of cool. Like they reanimated them. And then there's this kid that you. I think we never really got to see. And then they kind of just. They're doing a whole bunch of backstories. Like they're showing flashbacks of um, each reanimated shinobi, and then like or like their fights with them and stuff like that. And then after after the after the yeah, battle of like all the all the different fronts that each team's going with, uh, the well actually because Obito launches the ghetto statue. He launches the ghetto statue and Choji. I think Choji tries to like fight it in his big form because they um they body Os the reanimated Asuma, and Choji just can't do it obviously because he's like a nice guy or whatever. And then. Uh, What is what's kind of after that? I guess yeah, the ghetto statue because this is kind of when um, they find out that there's or like they kind of see later on like Naruto like the first time Naruto comes in to like help them out with the Zetsu because the Zetsu were figured out how to like clone figured out how to like clone each other or like clone the other Shinobi so that like they can clone their chakra and their like physical appearance so they couldn't really tell uh, which like if you're a Zetsu clone or not. So Naruto can like somehow sense like their their malice or whatever. So 
apparently he's the only one who could help him out with that. So Naruto's basically boot gang into the battlefield because he's done training and he has the chakra, his chakra mode. So he's just, you know, doing the whole Naruto run. And then a killer bee's coming with him. And then they clash with Obito's kind of uh, gang of, like, th these weird reanimated Genshuriki with, like, a Sh Shani uh, Sharingan and a Rinnegan. Which is just, the, Obito was just going, he was wiling with that team. So they have like a whole big battle with the Jinchuriki, I think. I think they like split up and try and fight him. Or that might be later on, but I can't remember. Because I think, I remember Naruto helps him out a little bit with the Zetsu clones. And he helps him out with, I don't know, he helps him out with the, okay, where is freaking Batman? There he is. Holy crap, that took forever. You need to see this. Yeah, it's... It's just freaking crazy what he can do with those Jinchuriki reanimated things. Before it killed him. Yeah, it's cray cray. I think, and then, because, and then Nar no Naruto has a. I think he has like a. Oh no, he has a confrontation with uh, reanimated Itachi and Nagato. And that's pretty cool to like see, because you can see Nagato using all the Rinnegan powers, like all in one, because you know he he's not using his clones. He can just use them all himself. And he was absolutely just clapping both Naruto and Killer B. Like he's about to rip out Naruto's soul. And then Itachi is so big brain that he somehow planned being reanimated. So he he planted like a Mangekyo Sharingan inside of inside of uh, what's his face inside of Naruto. And so, you know, and I was just like, how did he plan for that? <laughs> or I guess he didn't exactly plan, but like, I don't know how he just thought to like put in a Mangekyo Sharingan inside of Naruto so that it comes out and then he can like have control of his body again. So then Kabuto can't control him. I, I thought that was pretty dope. Yeah, there's like, there's like a couple like little, kind of little battles here and there. And then there's kind of like the, I think the transition, the transition into like the big ghetto statue fight is when he takes in, he takes in all of like, he needs all the chakra from each tailed beast to, to like get the ten tails to reawaken. That's kind of like where that starts, I think after all that stuff right there. And then they defeat Kabuto because Itachi goes with Sasuke to defeat Kabuto and they trap him in the Izanami, which is basically the... What is it, the counter move for the Izanagi or whatever? Yeah, that was pretty dope. I would have to give the first part of the war for arc, like the confrontation part, I would have to give that like a like an eight out of a ten. Or no. Yeah, yeah, eight out of a ten, because it's just I mean obviously pretty much all of the arcs, most of the arcs are gonna be pretty high reviews, because dude, it's Naruto, come on. You know, I kind of got a biased opinion. I'm just like, yeah, pretty much all of it's good. But there, you know, there's some things like I, why I would give the first part an eight out of ten is like, you know, the um, they introduced those characters that we kind of didn't know, and they kind of just tried to do some kind of flashback stuff. And I'm like, I try to pretend to care, but I really didn't. Like Yota or whatever that dude, the little kid who can control weather. I was like, really. You know, I didn't really feel like they sh really needed to add that. Like, I feel like it's just more more things to see. Like, I'm waiting for the big climax, right? I'm waiting. I like what I want to see is Ten Tails, Jinchuriki, Obito, just absolutely just freaking everything up, and then Naruto and Sasuke become demigods and stuff like that. Like, that's what I want to see right then. I don't want to wait through all that. Yeah, that's that's whack. But yeah, the the first arc of the the first kind of part of the war arc is is definitely like an eight out of a ten. And then let me see. Yeah, so the climax. Yeah, the climax. So this is gonna be like when he puts all of the um, Obito puts all of the Jinchuriki chakra into the Ghetto Statue. The Ghetto Statue turns into like the Ten Tails type beat, I think, because Madara gets. Madara, like the real Madara, gets reanimated, uh, and I think Kabuto obviously reanimates him. But like, where'd you get that? Like they didn't know where they got that from. But I think 
uh, Kabuto is kind of like, he's gonna control him, or I guess he can't exactly control him because, you know, it's Madara, but... I kind of hate these car battles. I'm not really good at driving in real life or in the game. Um, yeah. The ghetto, or no, I think he, they, cause like, he gets revealed to be Obito, like when he takes, when his mask is cracked, cause like Kakashi and Naruto and, and I think Guy Sensei are, are putting in some work, even though Obito is really not, not really showing any signs of a struggle. I remember the one of one of the quotes from that battle was just like, "Am I sweating?" It's like, "Nah, it's just uh, it's just because of the rain. These these uh these clowns can never make me sweat." Well, he doesn't say clowns, but you know, he's pretty much what he said, bro. They're just like, dude, they're clowning, bro. They can't do nothing. And then he releases because Madara is all all the way in like the desert area. He's kind of like in the sand, uh, the, like kind of like more where the sand village would be at. Because there's because that's like what I was talking about, like the battlefront, um, like the battlefronts that they each of them had, each of the teams. And I think the five Kage have to have to keep Madara at bay, like the real one. And Madara gets, because when he gets reanimated, he absolutely just bodies all the regular shinobi, obviously, because it's Madara. Like, I remember that scene was really famous, or, like, you know, very well. Madara's just bodying. I like how he, like, took the paper bomb off of, like, the kunai and then slapped it on the dude. Have to stay in the oh, yeah, my bad. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Alright, I should probably keep going through these. Tentail, yeah, Birth of Tentail, Shinshuriki, yeah. And then the whole, like, Naruto, like, army just comes up. And they're they're holding back the Tentails. Oh, like, Obito and Madara. This is when Madara shows up after he absolutely bodies all the five Kage. And, uh, that's, that's just pretty hype. Because they have the, uh, they have the Tentails and, oh, the whole army's getting bodied. And then Naruto realizes that he can share his chakra with pretty much everybody using his Shadow Clones. And that's when, like, they're kind of turning the war in their favor. I mean, obviously, they're not, like, winning-winning. But uh, I do like the battle, I think, before that, when Kakashi, Guy, and Naruto were just there by themselves with Kurama. The, um... I remember there was, like, a big battle between Obito and Kakashi. That was pretty cool, because Kakashi was doing some cool stuff where he was inside his Kamui realm... And he, he could, like, every time one of his body parts got phased into the realm, he could just punch it. Low-key, he could have finished him right there with a with a Chidori, but apparently he just, you know, he's like, not yet. Because, you know, it's Obito, bro. It's, it's, his old, it's his old teammate, dog. You can't just body him right off the bat. That's kind of cheap. You gotta have, like, an emotional battle with him real quick. And then Obito's, like, daydreaming about being the Hokage or something. Is that against him for the Takano Jutsu later on? What the hell is that? Oh, yep, yeah, hold up. Still tanks in here. What the hell is that? Am I getting shot? Oh. Get back in the freaking Batmobile. Dude, I I didn't think there's this many tanks. Alright, well. You know that there's the whole battle with Obito. And then Obito becomes a ten tail Shinchuriki, I remember that. That was kind of like the end of the birth of the Ten Tail Shinchuriki. Or the ten tails, I guess. Uh, you can kind of see like all of the forms of that. Like you can see each form as it grows or whatever. That was pretty interesting to see. Like they kind of pulled out like all the big stuff in there. But after, let me see. After that, Madara kind of realizes that Obito was kind of planning to basically. Planning to stab him in the back, basically backstab him. So he's like, "Yeah, let me just take all the, all the sage thingies or whatever it's called. Let me just take all the sage jutsu that you just gathered up. Because like technically, like when you get uh, enough chakra, if you get enough like stuff from the ten tails, you technically become like the what? No, throw down the freaking thingy. There you go, <laughs> chilling." So you start looking like an Otsutsuki clan member. Like you kind of look, you got this weird horn thingy. Kind of like Kage did. Alright, not really, but yeah. 
guess. And then Madara starts looking like that. Oh, and then there's the fight with freaking Guy Sensei and Madara, which is low key one of my favorite fights in the in that first like second half of the war arc. Because Guy Sensei goes eight gates, dude. That I mean, it, it wasn't a very long battle because dude, dude, Madara couldn't do anything, even with all that power, dog. Because Guy Sensei was just doing the. <laughs> And then he did the he did the first step, second step, just freaking the air would just and the monarch just getting sitting there just taking it. Yeah. And then the the ten tails or I guess Madara is kind of doing all that fighting with. You know, I mean, obviously the, I'm skipping a whole bunch of stuff, obviously because uh, I can't just review the entire thing. Cause that would take too long. Uh, let me see. My guy to the rescue. Yeah. All right. Red beast emerges. Infinite Tsukuyomi activate. Okay. So this is when he kind of like activates the whole like dream, um, infinite dream thing. And then everyone has like their individual dreams and then it's kind of like filler and they show you all their dreams. I skipped that filler, obviously. Uh, I, you know, cause I kind of wanted to see what happens. So Naruto is protected because Sasuke comes to the battle. Oh wait, no, I forgot. There's a whole bunch of stuff that happens because um, Orchimaru and Sasuke reanimate the f the previous four um, four Hokage, you know, first, second, third, and fourth, uh, which is including Naruto's dad, which I was super hype about. And then, let me see. Then after, yeah, so kind of like after all that happens, so because that's how they defeat the kind of like Madara and Obito, or well, not exactly defeat, but that, that's how they really fight them and the Ten Tails with the four reanimated Hokage. With that, with their help, that's how they do it. And then, uh, that's when, that's what, what I'm saying right here. That's when, like later, moder, like later, later, like way later, moder is kind of he's he gets the uh, kind of like the almost full power, I guess. Like that's when he can use the infinite Sukuyomi, the infinite dream thingy. Then everyone gets capped in the dreams. So Sasuke shows up to the battlefield and he's like, I'm going to be Hokage. I'm like, stop the cap. And then, what is it? Then uh, Sasuke uses, cause, and then Sasuke and Naruto help him out, really. They, they do some stuff there. And then Naruto and Sasuke kind of have like a big talk with, with, was it the Sage of the Six Paths? And then they get some like demigod powers, like they get some dummy overpowered stuff from him. Uh, and then because Naruto like healed, like that's why Guy Sensei didn't die because Naruto healed him. Uh, yeah, this this cutscene right here takes forever. You have to like turn, like get back in the clock tower. Yeah, that was that was pretty interesting to see. I guess I'm just gonna have to skip to the Kaguya fight. So Kaguya come basically summarize Kaguya comes out of the comes out of Mar uh, Madara because he's basically gain so much power that he's once he releases the infinite Tsukuyomi then that's when Kaguya could be released because she was sealed away by her two sons a long time ago so that was a pretty dope fight because Naruto and like and Sasuke and Obito and Sakura and like Kakashi were uh they were they had to do a whole bunch of stuff with that they had to they were going through like different dimensions like this ice dimension this weird like fire dimension like she's throwing him back and forth and then obito can somehow like reprogram his kamui to go into one of her dimensions i'm like dang that's some big brain type beat i don't know how long this takes i think maybe i need to look at this or something i don't know oh yep i just need to do that <sighs> nothing like a trip down old memory lane hey, yeah yeah but the kaguya fight was super dope and then there's going to be, after that was kind of like, you know, like they absolutely body her with, uh, with all three of them basically going at him, Naruto, Sasuke, and, and Sakura just kind of like all like helped to seal her away. And then after that, they have a pretty cool, I mean, it's not like it was really that necessary. I kind of feel like Sasuke was kind of being stupid again. Like he's doing the whole Sasuke thing. Be like, oh, I'm, I'm going to take all the darkness on myself. And then he fights Naruto again, but I like how they did it in the final valley. Like they kind of did, like what they needed to do to. I can't do that now. They did what they needed to do to kind of like show them like making up, or I guess you know show Sasuke changing at least a little bit. 
Because, you know, obviously Sasuke can't stay, like, you know, bad forever. Come on, dog. This is, this is supposed to be the generation that at least changes something. So, oh yeah, the, dude, the battle with Naruto and Sasuke was, I like how at the end they're kind of like, they're just punching each other, but just no chakra, no nothing. They're just so tired that they're just like, they're punching each other and they're all like beat up and the sun's going down and no one's willing to give up because, you know, that's like the whole thing about Naruto. I'm never going to give up, dog. And Sasuke is apparently the same. So, you know, dude, what is going on? Where's the wheelchair? It's supposed to be a wheelchair here, dog. All right, well, dope. Finally. I don't know why these cutscenes are taking forever. But yeah, then once they have the fight with Sasuke... Oh, dude, and then... And then Naruto has a freaking scene with his dad where... Because he's about to... Because the reanimation juice was released, so... Uh, he was going to, like, fade away into existence, and Naruto's just crying, telling uh, him... Uh, telling his dad to basically tell his mom to not worry about anything because he's chilling. I remember that scene. Obviously, how could I forget about the scene when he's training? When he's training and he's he's in the he's in the Nine Tails realm and he sees his mom for the first time, dude, that was whack, bro. Yeah, that was pretty. Good. I'll probably have to end the video pretty soon here, but you know, I, overall, like the war arc, just kind of like adding up all the all the ratings out of ten. I, I guess I would say that it was like a it was like an, a 9.5 like it's close to perfect but there's a couple things because it was so long you can't get everything perfect going through an entire war arc that was that long so you know Yeah, I think... Oh, yeah, they also have, like, a little tiny wedding arc. Um, tiny wedding arc for Naruto. That's the Arkham Knight. He's got Barbara. Need to confirm which car he took her in. There. That's the vehicle they took Barbara Yeah, the, uh, the wedding arc for Naruto, and then... I think they kind of show Naruto... Old, or old Naruto, I think? I don't know. But... I might review Baruto, but I obviously the whole series hasn't been out yet, and I also haven't seen it because uh, Baruto is just. I'll probably start ranting about that later, but yeah. I mean, overall, dude, Naruto is just a good series. Like, there's, I mean, obviously each anime has its faults, but Naruto is the one that kind of hits it, you know, it hits it where it matters, dog. Like, you know, a good, a good uh, plethora of emotions and. Uh, you know, good fights, like great fights, obviously, great arcs. Lockdown clock tower. Authorization. Back back. Yeah, all right, well, I think I should probably end the video here. I'm gonna I might do let me see what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna do one punch man next. Alright. Signing out.